Hey guys, I'm Nasser. I'm Daniel. And I'm Armin. And we're in Faisai 121 at UCLA, which focuses on Duchenne muscular dystrophy. So our video today is gonna to be an instructional workout video for people living with Duchenne. So let's get started. Let's go on in. Even though the diaphragm is one of the most important muscles in your body, it's really easy for it to get forgotten at the gym because there's not necessarily workouts for it. So today we're going to start with some mindful breathing to help expand your lung capacity and maintain your diaphragm health. The first thing you're going to do is lie down on a mat, ideally with a pillow under your head. You're going to put one hand on your upper rib cage and one hand right below your rib cage up against uh, your diaphragm. And you should be able to feel it as you feel your abdominals as well. So you're going to start with one deep breath in through your nose and then do a slow but forceful exhale through your mouth. And as you exhale through your mouth, um, try to contract your abdominals and diaphragm to really engage them as you slowly exhale. So let me demonstrate one. As you exhale, you should be able to feel your diaphragm come down and your abdominals contract. Aim to do this exercise about, about five minutes, two to three times per day. Um, as always, if you feel any pain or you feel uncomfortable, stop the exercise. One of the main symptoms of DMD are muscle contractures caused by decreasing usage of the muscle due to weakness over time. That decreased usage eventually leads to tightening of the muscles and tendons, which leads to their uselessness. So that's why stretching is the most important of physical therapies. All right, so I'm gonna play with a physical therapist and our friend here is the patient. We'll do a 90 stretch right now. So I'll bring this guy's knee up to 90 degrees, hit 90 degrees. Um, I'll slowly bring his leg up. So you can feel a stretch on his hamstring. All right. So this will be a Achilles tendon stretch. I'll cut the heel and push up. The patient will relax, you'll feel a stretch in his Achilles tendon. Make sure not to hyperextend the knee. Alright, ideally you want to hold these stretches for 60 seconds. In this case, patient will be in a prone position. There's a pillow supporting his chest and his head. Um, this was a quad stretch. I'll take his leg and I'll bend it. This will be a hip flexor stretch. Go ahead and curl your patient's leg, grab his knee, push down on his hip, bring his knee up. Notice that he's hyperextending his hip. So this will be a wrist flexor stretch. I'm going to grab the patient's arm, push down on his hand. So notice I'm stretching the wrist flexors. Make sure to hold these stretches for at least 30 to 60 seconds. You can do these a few times a day. Um, we want to maintain ambulation for as long as we can, um, ability to use our wrists, our legs, so don't forget to stretch. Although there's not much exercise on specifically the best way to achieve aerobic exercise for those with DMD, it has been established that low intensity cycling is one of the best ways to maintain muscle strength and most importantly maintain cardiovascular health. Our favorite way for low intensity exercise is cycling. Um, you can either use assistive cycling machines that will help you pedal, or ones that are powered just by you. You can cycle using your arms, like this machine, and you should also cycle with your legs. Those with DMD can still train for strength, but they must keep some things in mind. The most important thing is to never do eccentric contractions. Eccentric contractions are when the muscle is contracted, but it's actually lengthening. So for example, if I had a very heavy weight in my hand, and I was letting it down. My bicep would be contracted, but it would still be lengthening. This would cause a lot of damage to my psycholemma and would exacerbate my symptoms of DMD by speeding up the progression of muscle degeneration. So one of the ways we like to get around this for strength training is using resistance bands. Resistance bands are great because once you finish your concentric contraction, you can immediately uncontract your muscle and the band will return the muscle to its resting position. So for example, I will demonstrate a knee flexion to work out the quadriceps using this resistance band. I'm going to contract my quadriceps to bring up my leg, and then as I get to the top of the contraction and I want to bring my leg back to its resting position, I'm just gonna let go and let my leg come back without contracting my quadriceps to avoid that eccentric contraction. This can be applied to almost any muscle group. Once you figure out how to do the flexion or extension, 
the resistance band, you can bring your muscle back to its resting position. So for example, I'm going to show you a bicep curl using the same technique. I'm going to bring my bicep up, or bring my arm up, and contract my bicep, and perform the exercise. And once I get to the top of the exercise and I want to come back to resting position, I'm just going to let go and let the band take me back. Outside of physical therapy, we must remember that EMD is something that one lives with, and so we must have some daily reminders about that. One thing to remember is to sit up straight, engage your back muscles, don't slouch. Another thing to remember is if you're just sitting around, you can move your joints around, your wrists, or your ankles to maintain joint health. Another reminder is to exercise your jaw muscles. One easy way to do that is to chew gum while as you're sitting. Does anyone have gum? Gum! <laughs> Can use this.